Hi, Lou Spruce here. I'm going to attempt to show you today how to tap into sounds already locked inside your FR3X V accordion. You will have to use the Roland editor. I think the easiest way to find it is to make a web search. So I'm typing in FR-3X editor into uh, Google. I have come up with uh, more than one place to find it, but at the Roland site, especially the support is a good one. So I'm going to click on there, take me directly to the Roland site. Notice here that this uh, uh, utility file is FR7X, FR3X, and FR1X, version 1.01. .01. This is the latest version and it's good for uh, all the V accordions. Uh, I'm going to agree to the licensing and download the file. Notice there is also a supplementary file explaining uh, how to use it. You may want that also. Right now I'm just going to download the file. It is a compressed file. Notice that there's a zip file downloading here. It's very small. It, it happens fast. I'm going to uh, open the file. Actually I'm going to show it in folder. I like to see where it's going. It's in my downloads folder. You can see it's a zip folder. I can automatically decompress that on mine. This is the file you need. It is a JAR file, J-A-R, um, and you can run it right from here. In fact, I think I'll click on it right now, see if that works out. Do you want to run this file? There's the editor. Maximize it. Okay. At this point, let's see how we would use it. I would pick FR3X as um, the model we're using. I'd open the set editor. Now what I'm going to do is create a set file that we can load into the FR3X. Notice uh, I'm not going to work with the accordion sections. I'm only going to work with the orchestral registers so we can easily tell what we're doing. Uh, and I'm not going to work with the free bass, the chords, or the basses. I'll just use the, the treble keyboard. Notice in register 1 the sound is trombone. If we go to edit that trombone sound, you will see that as we look at our options, for instance, there are two flutes here. We didn't have two flutes before. And look at here's a third flute down here. And many other sounds that we haven't uh, been able to access previously. Now, one caveat here. If you try to pick something that has an expansion, for in this case the Alpine expansion, you have to have the Alpine expansion installed in your instrument to use those sounds. So I'm not going to select one of those. I'm going to select one that we can easily recognize. Let's try the Highland, uh, a bagpipe sound. You certainly didn't have that before. Okay, there are many other options here, but let's just save it. I'm going to save it. That's okay. I'm going to go back, I'm going to close the screen, go back to the first screen. Notice that Highland is in the number one register. I'm now going to go to the number two register, which originally had trumpet. I'm going to edit it. In this case, I think I'll pick um, uh, uh, AC piano, acoustic piano. Acoustic piano was not available originally on the treble side. I'm going to save it. Operation complete. I'm going back to see. We see the bagpipe is in, or the Highland sound is in one, acoustic piano is in two. Now you can go through and change all these uh, to create this special set for yourself with new sounds. You can do the basses, the chords, free bass uh, if you use them. But right now, I'm just going to go through the process with these two new sounds so that you can see it. I would suggest you do this for practice. Now I'm going to actually create the set file. So now is the time to click on Create Set File. It says select a file name from 0 to 999 to be correctly imported by your FR3X or FR1X. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to put it on the desktop instead of in the, the file, the folder it chooses, just so I can find it easily. I'm going to make it file 999. Again, easily so I can find it. I have a bunch of other sets. And I'd rather keep this one uh, easily identifiable. Save the set. Operation is complete. Now if I go to my desktop, 
Oh, first, when I go to exit this program, it says you will lose your settings if you didn't create a set file. Are you sure you want to quit? Well, I am sure we want to quit because we did create a set file, so it's okay. We'll quit. Minimize our other screens. And somewhere on the desktop right here. Here is uh, the file we just uh, created. I'm going to open up my USB stick that is normally in my Roland. Bring it over here. Notice I have quite a few files in it. But I'm going to take this 999 file we just created, set file, and bring it in to the Roland editor. That's all there is to it. Our next step is going to be to insert this USB stick back into our FR3XV accordion. After you have put the USB stick back into your Roland, it's really a simple procedure to transfer that data into a user set in the instrument so you can use it. It's uh, shown on page 41 in the manual, but it's really simpler just to do it. Hold down the set button until the display changes. When the display changes, use registers 3 and 4, which are the parameter list, to get yourself to UST, user set. Do not confuse it with USP, user program. There's USP. I'm going to go back. There's user set, UST. At this point, you have to select which user set you have on your stick. Uh, you may only have one. I have several. You use the value buttons, value registers, to select it. We're looking for 999, which is the one we made. There it is, 999. After you've got that, you need to press register 7, which is the enter register. At this point, you're, you're being prompted to load it in to one of the user four user sets. I'm going to uh, use the value buttons to go up to user set 4. I can go back at different ones, but I'm going to pick user set 4. And then hit the enter button again. 7, register 7. It'll show it loading. It shows it done. And now you're all ready to, ready to roll. If you want to select the user set to play, all you do is briefly touch the set button, go down to register 0, and step through whichever user set you want to use. There's user set 4. Boom. Now if you select the right registers, uh, you'll be able to play your sounds on the orchestra register now. That's all there is to it.